Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 8. In this proposition, today we are going to be talking about prepos Proposition 21. And this Proposition 21 states that if we have four numbers that are in continuous proportion, in other words, a to c is equal to c to d is equal to d to b, then a and b are not only solid numbers, but they are similar solid numbers. In other words, the sides are proportional. So let's prove this. First, we are going to construct three numbers, e, f, and g, where they are the least numbers in the same ratio of a, c, and d. And because of this, because they are the least, that we know that e and g are relatively prime. e and g since they, we know they are planar numbers from the previous proposition, let them be equal to h times k, and let g be equal to l times m. And just to keep things consistent, we're going to specify that h and l are the larger of the two sides. So e to f is equal to f to g. And from again, from our previous proposition, it's also equal to h to l and k to m. So we have demonstrated that in the previous proposition. e to g is equal to a to d because e, f, and g are the least ratios or the least numbers in the ratio of a, c, and d. So according to Proposition 14 of Book 7, the ratio of e to g is equal to the ratio of a to d. Now since e and g are relatively prime, that means that e multiplies is a multiple of a the same number of times that g is a multiple of d. So we have that a is equal to n times e. But e is equal to h times k. So therefore, a is equal to n times h times k and is hence a solid. Using the similar arguments, we have that c is a um, is multiplied. Sorry, let's look at c, d, and b. E measures c the same number of times that g measures b. So we have b is equal to some measure o times g. But g is equal to l times m. So b is equal to o times l times m, and is hence a solid. So we have just demonstrated the first part of this proof, that a and b are solid numbers. But we still need to prove that they are similar solid numbers. So from Proposition 18 of Book 7, we know that the ratio of n to O is equal to the ratio of A to C, which is also equal to the ratio of E to F. So A to C is equal to E to F, and N to O is also equal to A to C. So we have N to O is equal to A to C is equal to E to F. But E to F is equal to H to L is equal to K to M. So we have that H to L and k to m, which is equal to e to f, is also equal to the ratio of n to o. And therefore, a is similar to b, because the ratios of h to l, k to m, and n to o are all equal. So we have thus shown, finally, that if we have four numbers in continuous proportion, the first and the last are solid numbers, and they are similar solid numbers.